guys, we need to talk. We're about to have an XRP intervention. Bro, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, bro. I can't. I, I just care about them too much, man. I know, I know I'm wasting my time. I'm wasting my fucking breath. They don't fucking listen. But I, I just, I, I, I need to do this. Just, you know, at least one time. One more time. You know, one video. I just, I need to do it. That's it. Let me do it. Just let me do it, bro. Let me, let me bend. All right, guys. That's it. It's show time. It's intervention time. All right, guys. Now, you guys know I don't like XRP Ripple. In fact, I hate XRP Ripple. But, you know, as uh, certain things started developing where, you know, the banks started saying, hey, we're going to have JP Morgan coin. And now we got Facebook coin and so on and so forth. You know, now I really, I, don't, I just don't hate Ripple per se. I, I just feel bad. For you guys okay i feel bad for the whole ripple xrp community i know they're two different things i don't want to fucking hear it i'm done all right i've already studied the fuck out of this shit and this thing is is the, the like a ponzi scheme worse than a ponzi scheme okay now again you know i've told you guys you know i invested you know a few bucks you know like uh in uh bitconnect you know um i literally invested 50 bucks and i got a 200 dollar return um, you know, in the, in the, in the span of uh, me investing in BitConnect back in the day. And when it went down, I was like, ah, man, they got me. And, you know, same thing out here for this. You know, if you're out here just, you know, trying to fill those bags and you're just a trader, you know, don't be listening to me, all right? Not, don't, you know, you already know what's up. You're just trading this fucking thing. It's, which, by the way, ever since the beginning of the year, everything has been in a bull run. Now, I know, not the beginning of the year, but it's for a few months now. We've been in a bull run, and what the hell has uh, XRP been doing? It's been taking a dump, all right? Even the other day, when there was news uh, between XRP and MoneyGram, <clears throat> and I had, like, in my in my Discord, which, by the way, join the Discord, you know, so you can join the conversation, have some fun with it. Leave a like, subscribe, have some fun. If you're liking this fun content. Uh, but still, um, this is, I, I know I'm always having fun, but this is an intervention, I'm trying to keep it serious. <laughs> but anyways, you know, when that news broke, you know, uh, someone someone in the chat was like, oh, MoneyGram, you know, just bought, I mean, uh, what is it, X, a Ripple just bought MoneyGram. And it's like, no, that's not what happened at all. In fact, they bought they bought shares, okay? They bought 6% of, in, of shares in, in MoneyGram. So they own 6% of MoneyGram. They don't own shit, all right? They don't even have any voting power. They don't got nothing. All they're doing is throwing away their money at you know, MoneyGram, and what MoneyGram is doing is like, oh yeah, yeah, sure, we'll, we'll, we'll take your money, we'll take your money, oh yeah, we'll hear you out, yeah, we'll use that Ripple network. Yeah, and they're just taking your fucking money, and if you don't fucking, live Ripple don't like it, then get the fuck out. It's called Business 101. Learn it. Anyways, that's what's happening there. And what, why are they doing that? Because they're desperate. They got nothing. They got nothing. Bucket, zero. No, zilch, all right, goose egg, and uh, you know, they do shit like this so that you know, you guys, you know, on the Twitter, I mean, in the XRP Ripple community can you know, bust a nut, uh, uh, you know, and like, oh my god, you know, uh, we're gonna go to the moon, uh. and say, like, bro, what the fuck is wrong with you guys? What's wrong with you people? Come on, man, wake the fuck up, you know, it's like, right, when people send me money through Money Grand Western Union, etc., etc., you know how long it takes me to fucking get it, like that. I, I'm literally at the fucking Western Union, and they're like, okay, I'm sending it now. All right, cool. I go to the fucking thing, and I got it. What the fuck, bro? It's faster than a fucking Bitcoin <laughs> transaction. So what the fuck do they need Ripple for? Or XRP? They don't. All right? They don't. All right? And that goes with every other scenario out there. No one, and I repeat, no one is going to use this piece of shit. Why? Because first of all, not only is it a failed project that it's not even a blockchain, it doesn't even work, the whole fucking thing is just a mess. But again, we're seeing over and over and over, wake up people, over and over again that, you know, there's other entities out there, you know, like for example, the banks, you know, remember it was a bank coin and what are the banks doing? Yeah, you know, the banks are like, oh, JP Morgan coin, Wells Fargo coin, the Fed coin, the whatever coin, you know, we look at Russia, they're making their own coin, you know, the Petro in Venezuela, hey, they're using that shit, you know, like with Russia and, and everyone is making their own fucking coin. India is like, oh, we're going to ban all cryptos, but we're going to have our own India coin. So what the, what, what the fuck do we need this for? The banks don't, you know what I mean? Like they don't, they're, they're making their own coins as well so you know again everything from the you know um imf to to um, all the other central banks you know they're all they're all creating their own fucking coins i mean i, I don't 
I, I don't get it. I don't get it. So, you know, then we're going to the businesses and corporations and shit like that. Look at Facebook. Look at everyone else. <laughs> They're either creating their own or creating their own. All right? And that's it. That, that's basically it. All right? And um, so there's no real need for a middleman. All right? Remember, that's what we're trying to eliminate with crypto. So why is Ripple trying to be the middleman? When that is the one piece that, well, there's a lot of things that we're trying to do with crypto and, and the, all this technology, but I'm, I'm, the major component is to eliminate the middleman. So again, what the fuck is the use for, for all this? I sure, I, you know, you guys say all oh, the speed and the transactions and the whatever, but again, guys, over and over and over again, you know, when it comes to like Visa, MasterCard, you name it, they're not gonna use this thing, they're just gonna develop their own motherfucking thing and that's it. And eventually, we're not going to use any of these things, you know? We're not going to, you know, subject ourselves to these banks and these uh, creditors anymore because we're not going to have to. But, and again, so, so, you know, there's absolutely zero need for XRP and Ripple, period. You know, in fact, if, if uh, I don't want to hear about no partnerships, I don't want to hear about any of that shit. All that shit is bot propaganda. That's basically all that is, all right? Um, damn, I thought this video was going to go a lot longer. But guys, really, I want to fucking hear it. I want to hear it in the comments. I want to hear it and I want to have start a discussion. Uh, I really want to know um, what Ripple is all about, what XRP is all about. Because, you know, I, and I, don't be sending me no links. Type it, type it, do some work. Stop being lazy. That's another problem with all you guys that are, you know, Ripple, XRP, Army, whatever the fuck. You guys just read headlines and don't do any fucking homework. And you just want to get fucking rich quick. And that's the problem. You know, if you don't have any patience, if you don't do your homework, if you don't do a little reading, then you know what's going to happen? They're going to just take your fucking money. And who is they? Everyone. They're all just going to continue taking your money. Just like, you know, Mr. DJ Cali says, they. They don't want you to win. They don't want you to fucking be a success. They, who are, who is they? You know, the, the same they is the same they that you're listening to right now. Okay? You're literally, you know, you're too lazy to do any fucking homework and actually research any of this shit. So you listen to other YouTubers out there that are, or read other, you know, whatever out there that is just telling you all these things that you want to hear, which is, you know, just like BitConnect. Oh, you're going to make all this money. Just invest a few dollars. This is going to the moon. Oh my God, the banks, the banks. <coughs> That's another thing that I, I heard, you know, the other night when I was talking and having this discussion, you know, that most people that are investing in Ripple XRP are people that, for whatever reason, you know, they think that the banking system is gonna be around forever and that they're just gonna rule and that, you know, Bitcoin and crypto and all that shit is, is still crap and a fallacy and that, you know, they're just gonna use this XRP Bitcoin, I mean, this XRP uh, Ripple stuff in order to, you know, uh, w ride the wave of Bitcoin and, and other cryptos in order to, you know, just eat the brain of people so that they can stay in power forever. But that's not really, you know, again, you know, it's all about picking sides. You know, right now, you know, we're into entering a revolution. I mean, whether you like it or not. And um, it's basically more than anything else, a financial revolution, like all of these revolution, everything from, bro, do you, do you guys fucking think that Jesus Christ was just fucking uh, put to the, uh, to the cross, you know, because, uh, you know, of his uh, religious beliefs or what have you, or because he was, uh, no, listen, man, it was all because he was uh, spreading knowledge, spreading economic and financial knowledge, all right? Let's not get into all that history, all right? I don't want to, that's not, you know, YouTube is a little sensitive right now with all this stuff, but come on now, all right? And when we go down all the history, everything from, you know, World War II and, uh, you know, Germany and what happened there with Hitler and all that stuff, you know, again, a lot of it had to do with, you know, financial situation. Everything from the Civil War, we can go on and on and on and on, all right? So, listen, it's the same fucking thing right now we're going through, only this time it's, it's a major change. It happens, you know, once every few generations, okay? And this is, you know, what's happening is the fact that we're changing economic systems. And, 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 and on top of all that, this economic system that's coming online is something that we've never ever seen before in human history, okay? So the closest thing that we've had is gold and silver, but this is something to another paradigm because of the whole computer thing and blah, 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 technology, technology, insert smart words here. I know what they are, I'm just trying to be funny. The point I'm making is that, listen, we're in a humongous transition period. And for all of you out there that still believe that the bank 
banks and these evil people and you know these evil banks and central banks are the ones that are going to remain in power forever listen guys you're very very wrong okay we have the power now and we're taking it back slowly but surely i know you might not see this in the united states and in other parts of the you know comfortable world out there mainly the u.s but if you step outside of the fucking u.s and just go anywhere else you start quickly seeing that this revolution is already happening and crypto is a major component to this revolution and uh, it's gonna happen whether you like it or not so you better pick your side are you gonna be on the bank side the losing side or are you gonna be on the side of uh, you know the winning side which is the crypto side and the people side come on man you know wake up all right I, I mean for reals you guys know exactly who I'm talking to out there you know if you guys are doing this because you want fat back and you want to just take care of your family and you're thinking about your financial future and your future you should really look into crypto stop looking into this bullshit okay the real freedom comes by destroying the system once you destroy the system and you accrue the proper wealth which is gold silver bitcoin and other assets then you are able to fucking, you know, not only weather the storm, but be financially stable at the end of the day. But if you're out there just fucking filling your XRP bags, thinking that when the whole system falls, you're gonna be a fucking millionaire, bro, you're the fucking guy that's gonna be, you know, begging for food and hopefully survive, okay? But again, just like George Carlin said, okay? The fucking dumbass, the, the, the idiot that eats too many marbles doesn't grow up to have kids of his own. Unfortunately, I know some of you guys already have children and families and that's even whatever, but hopefully your kids learn from your mistakes just like, hey, a lot of us learn from our parents' mistakes, right? I mean, you know, I love my dad, I love my mom, but hey, I fucking learn from their mistakes and that's for sure and I'm sure my kids will learn from my mistakes and so on and so forth, but that's the point, guys. Don't make these fucking mistakes that are extremely easily avoidable. If you're already in this space, then just do the proper work and do the proper homework in order to really put yourself above and beyond everybody else. Get the fuck out of this Ponzi scheme, all right? Please, I beg you, all right? At this point, it's not even about the banker or banker coin. We already know the banks ain't using this XRP shit, and this XRP bullshit is just, it's, again, BitConnect actually had more return. BitConnect actually had, an, an, a, you know, an, an even, an, an actual business model that was working for a while, and Ripple has absolutely, XRP has absolutely zero nothing. So let's just keep that in mind, guys, all right? Please, I wanna hear your comments below. Pepper me with comments, pepper me with thumbs ups and thumbs downs because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna get a bunch here. Um, and um, yeah, more importantly than anything else, don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Share this knowledge. Uh, follow me on all the social medias and all that good stuff. And uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it and uh, it was fun. I love ranting. I love talking about these things and I really hope that I fucking woke up somebody out there. Please, for the love of God, wake the fuck up. Okay, wake up. Peace. No, no, listen, I, Scott. I, I don't know. I don't know if I can continue with this. You know, this is this is. Uh, hey, you want to fight with me? No, we, no I'm no, happy to fight with you if you want to go in the ring. Hey, come over here. I've say been that. in the ring. Come over here and say what that. Mean, come over come there. Come over here and say that. You come over here. No, you come over. Come on. Well, you, you, you make the first move, buddy. No, make you the, make first, the move. first move. Come on, get you up. Make, make the first move. It's you, my show. Make the first move. Yeah, get up. Get up off your oh, butt. You yeah, go ahead. Stand up. Stand up. Come on. Stand up! Yeah, I'll... Wait, wait, come back! Don't you understand what any time it's done to people? Don't you understand the risk? Don't you understand the risk? Oh, Jesus Christ! Get out of my show! Get out of my show! Get off the set! Get off the set! You know what you can... Get off the set! Keep the show... Get out of here! Stick the show right where it is. What's going on here? Come on, come on. I asked for this crap. Get the hell with it. Get out Get out! Somebody call security! Get this lunatic off my show. I will never get this Jamie Diamond on my show evermore. Get this lunatic out of here.